Hey guys, Joe the Handyman here. Still working on this uh, renovation of this rental property. Um, got a lot done. Take a little quick walkthrough. Um, if you can see above my head here, this was completely wide open. Still got to sand it uh, because of water damage. And what I want to talk to you guys about today was um, a new toy I got which is the Graco True Coat 360 DS. So I've got like a lot of trim to do and uh, a bunch of doors. And I was actually gonna ha have one of my guys come in and, and work with me. Um, he never got back to me, but that's okay. So uh, instead of painting the doors with, uh, with a brush and a roller and all that stuff, I decided to get this thing. Uh, I think I paid 170 for it over at Lowe's. And uh, I just got to say, it's, it's remarkable how, how well it works. Um, I have a big Milwaukee sprayer, um, which I use for larger jobs. And, uh, but it's bulky and it takes a heck of a long time to clean up. Um, and it's bulky, if I mention that to you. So uh, I decided to get this little thing. And I kind of wasn't sure if it was going to be great, but... I gotta say, this thing is fantastic. Uh, it's quick. It's actually pretty clean in, in when you're using it and changing or adding more paint. Um, and it covers beautifully. I mean, uh, it, it's fantastic. Let me give you a, a shot of the packaging. If I can do this with the thing here. Okay. Where the hell am I going? There it is. Okay, yeah, so it's, uh, there's two models of this thing, I think. Let me come back up. There's two models of this thing. Um, one was like 249 and this one was 170 um, uh, Me and the guy at, at, at Lowe's were like going through it, and apparently the, the 249 version has uh, a higher capacity, which is great, but you know what, I'm, I'm okay with this one. Uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to show you how well it covers. Um, I'm painting doors that uh, are pretty nasty. Um, the back of this one door that I'm about to paint to show you guys, it was never uh, it was never painted. It was just primed uh, from the factory, and it's been up for I don't even know how many years. So hopefully I can set up the phone so that you guys can get a look at it, and uh, stay tuned. So here's the door that I'm going to paint. Um, I just did this one. Didn't do the edges yet, but this sprayer actually has a really nice uh, feature to it where you can go either high or low. You can't see a thing, can you? The sunlight. Here we go. You have a high or low switch, and you can adjust the spray pattern. Uh, it comes with two spray nozzles. This one down here uh, kind of sits in there. I'm probably not going to keep it there because it does want to come out pretty easily all right um, not too thrilled with this little gap here but that's not a big deal and the neat thing about this sprayer is that it's it's got these cup bags I guess we'll call them um, like an idiot when I was you know read, read the instructions which I never do but when I read the instructions um, I figured out okay you you know you need to run some water through it first just to uh, to get the, the factory uh, solution out of it. And then you have to turn it upside down to prime, that kind of thing. Well, here I am thinking, okay, it's primed and uh, turned it right side up and it actually wouldn't, wouldn't pull paint. Well, that's because I didn't finish reading the instructions. You actually have to open this little hatch, which I'm not gonna do because it's already primed. Uh, this little hatch here and you squeeze this bag and basically this releases all the air that's uh, that's in the bag and then it just pulls super well and this bag ends up scrunching up inside this uh, container so that's how it works it's basically having pr reverse pressure coming into that thing and or creating a vacuum I guess and uh, yeah it, it it works real well so uh, I'm gonna oh, and, and Huge benefit is that, you know, I took out all the flooring in here and, 
you know, I need to paint the walls and stuff. So obviously you're not going to just go willy nilly with this thing um, inside a house that's already finished. But, uh, you know, that's why we have different tools. We have paint brushes for certain things. We have rollers for certain things and we have sprayers for certain things. So here's the door, kind of nasty. Um, and I am going to paint this door. Uh, don't really care if I get a little over, actually not a little, I'm going to definitely overspray these because it doesn't make a difference. It's not going to mess with the, uh, the track. So uh, give me one second, I'll set up the camera and we'll get going. All right, it looks like that's going to hopefully stay. I'm just standing up on my ladder. Put on a mask. And I've got the spray pattern going this way because I am going back and forth with it. I do have it on high pressure. Prime it. There's a prime knob here. And turn it. Just as a side note, um, this uh, this louvered door was on the uh, the boiler, you know, where the boiler was for the uh, hot water system, and uh, it was it was in pretty bad shape. Um, I sprayed it with the Graco, and I mean, just look at that. It's just it's real. I, I I'm really quite surprised and quite pleased with it. Um, so. Uh, yeah. Real nice finish. Almost looks like what you'd get out of a factory how, when they paint, when they pre-paint things. Um, and here are the other doors. Lots of doors in this little tiny place. Another one over here. So that is it. Okay, I'm gonna go now, bye.